Well, we're leaving Monterey, California, which is nearing the end of our SoCal beaches area, South, Southern California beaches area. We're heading towards San Francisco, not stopping. Not, li not lingering. Not <laughs> lingering in San Francisco, no. Hi, I'm Wade. I'm Lorraine. And we are on, on the, the off-ramp. Off -ramp. And wow, we are in the Redwoods Forest. So this is a Redwood Forest of Humboldt. We're just amazed at the kind of trees around us. We are in awe of the beauty, yeah, or the sounds of the birds. Last night it was a hooting owl. Just was so mournful, the call. It was nice sitting by the fire. Thanks for joining us on On the Off-Ramp. So we left Monterey in the morning and we knew we'd be passing through San Francisco and we spent some time on the Golden Gate Bridge. We've been to San Francisco before, so we didn't really have any intention of staying in the city. We just liked driving on that number one and wanted to stay there and we loved being on this bridge. After San Francisco, we stayed on the number one highway. Lots of ups and downs, lots of curves and a speed limit of only 35. So what we did is we ended up getting back to the 101 so we could get to Humboldt Redwood State Park. We've seen a lot of desert in this journey as well as ocean, but wow, what a change to drive through these redwoods. The winding roads and the beautiful tall trees just made it such a peaceful drive as we drove through the Humboldt Redwood Forest. This roadway was called the Avenue of the Giants. There are more than 250 family campsites in three different campgrounds. We chose the Burlington campground, but there's group camps, trail camps, horse camps, lots of different activities for hikers, cyclists. There's also fishing and boating and swimming in the area. Although that's two trees, there's one tree and then there's a, now it shows This is one big tree though. I know, somewhere along the line it's been cut down or had to. What did he say, because of fires or Some safety? because of safety they had to cut down. But the area that we're gonna to go to later, the Roosevelt Forest area is, that's all natural trees, 1800 to 2500 years old. Wow, throughout this campsite we see stumps like that that are huge, tall, round, gorgeous campground. Everything's kind of moss covered. We are going for our first hike here in the Redwoods and it just feels, feels otherworldly, doesn't it? It is just unbelievable. <clears throat> Wish we could bottle even the, the aroma. Here, I'll Looks walk like around the other side. we're on a well-marked trail here. Yeah, it goes right there. Looks like I'll walk the other side of this. Gives you some sense of scale of this tree trunk that's fallen over. There he is. The park guide was saying that the area that we're going to walk in later on, the trees were anywhere from 1,800 to 2,500 years old. Some have been definitely hit by fire, but not killed. I wish this was our destination for weekend camping in the summer. We're at the Burlington Campground. And Humboldt's... Humboldt Redwoods. Humboldt Redwoods State Park. Now it doesn't have, it's dry camping, but they have water and they don't have a dump station, but they have great bathrooms, right? Yeah. It's an easy place to camp. Wow, it's beautiful. And they have bins for people to put their, their food into, or their food in, so to keep the bears away. I'll step on a root. Oh my. <laughs> put that in perspective, and I'm going to see if I can go up. But you know what? Does the video do it justice to stay there waiting when he come back down? Oh, look at him fall over. <laughs> Yeah, and he said somewhere down here is the third largest tree. Third largest tree in yeah. the world? Well, he just said third largest tree, so I don't know if it was part of this forest. Or part of the redwoods in general. Yeah. I know there's one big massive one that everybody goes to visit. Yeah, that's the general. That's in a different forest though. The general it's called? Yeah. Completely burnt from the inside. The 
still growing up on top. Seriously? Yeah. Okay, so that opening has to be at least 30 feet tall. Well, and I mean, I'm not touching the sides, not even close. Oh no, close. it's way more than 30 feet tall. <laughs> step, step up in the middle. Can you reach the two sides of the opening? Um, from the opening, I can barely. Yeah. Just. Three hundred and forty-six feet high, twelve point seven feet in diameter, forty feet circumference, one hundred ninety feet to get to that first branch. Try climbing that tree. <laughs> Need some tools. Whoa! Should I hold you up? <laughs> it looks like that tree tipped over. Yeah, this. It's been derooted. De the bottom of it. This is the bottom. Kind of looking at a tree from the bottom up. I'll let Wade get a little closer to get some perspective. Now, Wade's walking right to the edge of a deep hole as well, which is probably the origin. Oh, well, it looks like you and others have gone in there. <laughs> Crazy. Up ahead, we're seeing a tree that's been cut apart just so the pathway <laughs> can continue on. It's like two solid walls. Yeah. Oh, we're part of the haunted horse here too, I guess. <laughs> I guess that piece. Look, these pieces came right off. It. Yeah, that tree must have split apart from a fire or a lightning or age. This is like when they dynamite or blast rock in a highway to make a road. Here they had to take apart the tree so we could walk through it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big tree. Yeah. Look ahead of us how many fallen trees there are. Yeah. Creation is just the most unbelievable thing. I know that you have a sense of time when you're in these because there's hundreds, yeah. hundreds of years old. Thousands for some. And the beautiful birds singing away. It's one thing to see buildings that might be a thousand years old, which is kind of interesting as well, but here to see living plants that are that old. Land of the living giants. Okay. Now there's a tree here called Dyer's Tree, and I think we started at the wrong end of the trail, so we haven't seen the sign yet, but I'm guessing. I don't know. Yikes, that's a big tree. This is a tree that's fallen down. I don't know if you can get a sense of how long it is. If Wade, you videotape that and I go to the end, but okay. you're not even nearly at the end. I'll go to the end over here. You go that way, I'll video. Whoa, I gotta watch the roots. Well, I can't even get to the end because show you the end here. It goes into there somewhere. And here, let's see how far Lorraine is. Oh, she's still going. She's way out there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her way in the distance. Wave your hands. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> she's at the end of the tree there. That is a large tree. And what's cool is this, all the trees growing out of it now. A cycle of nature. I know, the other one I thought was big and this yeah, one's even no, bigger. This one's bigger, yeah, this one's yeah. way bigger. It's just amazing. This, this has to be the dire. Well, that's just it, there's no sign that says Isn't that, that but weird? I'm wondering. Yeah, I just assumed the dire one was an upright tree, but maybe this is it. No, they showed it as being down, so. Oh, did they? Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, I didn't bring the guide. Oh, it's probably, the information about the tree is probably in yeah. there. I left ours in the car. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I just assumed it was an upright tree, but yeah, I guess. You saw a picture that it was a down tree? No, no, on the map, it's it shows it. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. Oh, so it fell in 1991, okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm not walking into the mud down there. I'll probably slip. Is this good enough? 
Well, last night's rain does make it a bit slippery, but... Looks like you can crawl in and make a home out of it. I know. Ta-da! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Lost in the trees. Lost in the roots. There's Wade lying down on the job again. The sun is right in the way. <laughs> it's in the way? Yeah. So in this forest, we're noticing a lot of the fallen trees, and of course we've featured a couple of them, but I love how they've just kind of left them and you get to see the roots. You can see that others have touched it, posed in front of it, you know, checked it out. But everywhere we look, we see the bottom ends of these trees. The adventurer has returned. <laughs> Our hikes are slow just because of him, not because of me. Yeah. the Johnny Cash song, I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> this van has been a lot of places. This is our third little hike today. All of them have been short trails, but something different to see in the redwood forest. We are looking at these twigs that are here in the forest with a little bit of evergreen. And we're realizing that these twigs, the little bit of needles on them, become That is the coastal redwood. Uh, now the interpreter was saying that some of these trees are anywhere from 1800 to 2500 years old. One of the brochures that you picked up, Wade, it talked about how many days it took four men to count the rings of one of the fallen trees. Oh my. Yeah, I'll have to go back and take a look at that brochure and see what it said. And here's a fallen one. but. Actually, here's, here's a bigger full these... one. <laughs> yeah. And like in the last forest that we were at, one just tipped onto another and forced them to fall down. But to see all this new growth, relatively new, I wonder how long these skinny ones have been here, Wade. Yeah, I don't know. When you think about it. Continue on 
Newton B. Drury Scenic Parkway for 14 kilometers. Ah, there you go. She agrees. Yeah, yeah, she she agrees with our drive and our decision to go up the 101. This canopy of trees, redwoods, mossy branches. Oh my goodness. Or land of the giants, like the size of this one on the right hand side. Like, does that get captured in video, do you think? Can people see how massive these trucks are? Well, they've stopped by some of these mossy trees here somewhere. trees here than we were at uh, Humboldt when we were at the Humboldt Redwoods. Well, we're closer to the ocean here. I guess so. Look at this Oh yeah. We're quite close to the ocean here. Okay, that, looks so that almost great. looks like it's, like there's ferns there's growing ferns out of the ch moss. That's great. It's almost like the moss has killed the tree. I don't know. You have to get a picture of the ferns growing out of the moss. Okay, here. Here. Wow, look at this. This is completely covered in moss, this tree. What a color. I don't think I'm tall enough to catch the ferns up in the tree. You might have to do it. I'll come even over here. What's that? Hi. Hi. So in the last campground, somebody suggested we go on this little scenic uh, drive that's about 30 minutes, and it's off of the 101. We're going north, we're in Northern California and going north towards Oregon. And what we're finding uh, is these little side roads that take us even further. And these trees in front of us are completely covered in moss. Wade's capturing this in pictures just in case we aren't getting it in video as well. And even just to touch it, it's just feels like a, feels like a fur. This fern that's growing out of the ground here is probably as tall as me. Although it feels that all of the parks we've been through kind of look the same as far as redwoods go, each one is just a little bit different. And the size of the trees and the roadways and and what we've learned is that some of them have been in forest fires and as you can see from this one here may not have survived it but others have quite burnt external barks and way up high in the tree you can see it's still living well and we're thinking some of them may have been lightning strikes as well too but i love the reflectors they put in front of the tree stump so you don't hit them in the nighttime with your vehicle Thanks for joining us at the Redwood State Park. And thanks for watching our channel. We have enjoyed putting these videos together and hoping that it'll encourage you to come see some of the beauty that we've managed to see and capture. As we've traveled over the almost three months ready through, uh, through our trip here, we have been able to see incredible amounts of creation. Yeah. And uh, we hope that this inspires you to come and visit some of these sites as well. Thanks for following us. We love your comments, absolutely, and uh, continue to join us on our journey. Yeah, and uh, many of our plans have changed while we've driven, but we always know we can hold, hold our, our plans, plans loosely. loosely.